Man. What up, y'all? Knowledge the Raven 2468 just coming at y'all, man. Woo it was crazy today, this morning, man. Just getting up, getting on the prayer line with my my brothers and sisters in Christ and spiritual mothers joining in. And we was just on fire for God. Like the message was it was on time. You know what I'm saying? Like and me, I'm on the prayer line, and I'm like, okay, I got to get up. I got to go help out my spiritual mother because, uh, you know, I told her that I'd get these worthy birds up. And so I decided to come on out here and, you know, make the choice to get up and do this here. Now, this this wasn't, you know, this wasn't planned, okay? This was not planned. This was an on-time message that for young men and even uh, – uh, uh, just young people in general to go and help out those that need help right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still social distancing or whatever since everybody is all about social distancing, being six feet apart. You know, I got a rake out here and I'm getting all these worldly birds up, you know, getting this grass up for my spiritual mother because she can't do it. You know what I'm saying? With her being um, mature in age, she she needs some help. So, I mean, after I finish this here, I'm actually going to go and mow my mother's yard, you know, uh, because, you know, my mama shouldn't have to mow no yard. She didn't did her time, you know, work for the, uh, you know, people she didn't work for. Now she should just sit down and rest, sit down and relax. And that's what I'm telling the young brothers that we should be doing for our women is we should be getting out in the yard and cleaning it up and, and doing whatever, you know, making sure they just getting some rest. They taking care of their business, their, their responsibility. We need to go outside, you know, take the trash out, bring the trash back in, and, uh, you know, do this here, work the yard up, go clean it up, you know. We might have not messed it up, but we can clean it up, especially if you got a woman that like, you know, flowers and gardening and stuff like that. You going out there and go clean it up while she do what she do. You know, work together. Work together. And we should be teaching our kids this too, these young kids. We should really be teaching them how to labor for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Working for somebody else, work for yourself. Labor for yourself. You know, forget all these pyramid schemes and all that stuff. I'm not saying all of them, but forget all that, man. Don't chase no money. Let the money chase you. If somebody needs some help, then, hey, go help them, man. It ain't going to hurt you. Right now, ain't nobody working in them buildings. I mean, it is some people working in the buildings, but it ain't some of them, man. Go, go labor for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go help out the elderly. Go go help them that, that can't help themselves no more. That need somebody to come and do this right here. And you ain't got to look good doing it. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't care how I look. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. I got on a t-shirt and some jeans and some white shoes. You know, like, it, it, ain't, it ain't about how I look. You know what I'm saying? And that's for the young ladies too, man. Like, y'all ain't got to keep on putting on all this makeup and these eyelashes and stuff. Like... You're wasting money. You're beautiful. Enjoy your own beauty. Like your beauty inside as well as outside. This shouldn't have to define you or get you a man. You know what I'm saying? This shouldn't have to define you to get you a man. You you look good already. If somebody ain't if somebody telling you ugly, you say, listen, <laughs> I'm rubber you glue. Whatever you say apply whatever you say to me applies to uh whatever you say applies. To be, it sticks back to you. Y'all know how it go, man. I can't even get the words out. I'm rubber, you glue. Whatever you say to me applies to you. Yeah, whatever. But still, you know, women, you're beautiful. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your true beauty. You wasn't born ugly, and you ain't ugly now. But if you want to be that way, then you're going to be that way. You, if you ugly in the inside and you look good on the outside, you're ugly. You need to be good on the inside first you need to be beautiful on the inside because beauty is only skin deep beauty is only skin deep you can look good on the outside brother i'm telling you it's just like the sisters i mean the brothers brother can look good on the outside he can look like fool just suave but on the inside he toe up toe up from the flow up he's a boy on the inside and i'm telling you it's a lot of them out there it's some boys on the inside of these these grown men calling themselves men it's some boys in there and it's just it's just like the uh, men it's some women it's some little girls inside them grown women y'all need to figure it out man stop trying to be something that you're not step up to the call man
It shouldn't cost you nothing to help somebody out, to love on somebody, to call somebody up and ask them if they need help. It don't cost you nothing. Just a phone call. That's what we should be doing for each other, man. That's what we should be teaching our kids. That's what we should be teaching our daughters, our sons. They friends. They friends is friends. If they come over your house, teach them. Because if they ain't learning at home, then they're going to keep on falling. If they come to your crib, then you teach them. Each one teach one. Each one reach one. That's how you change this world. You got to first change yourself. You got to first change your mindset and what you think and what you see. This is 2020, y'all. Perfect vision. 2020 is the number 40. We finna be in this for 40 days. And after 40 days, something else about to happen. Something amazing about to happen. Realize that, man. These people in this world scared. They ain't get, scared of what? You be scared of, the, scared of God, scared of the creator that created you because he the one to tell you when you could go, when it's your time. Don't nobody else tell you when it's your time. He's the one. Only thing you should fear is the fear of God. Fear of not pleasing your father. Fear of not pleasing your mother and your father, as it says in the word. Honor your mother and your father or your days will be numbered. God tell you to do something, you better get up and do it. Honor that. Honor your father in heaven. Go do it. Quit faking and shaking. Get on outside and go do something. A lot of these preachers, man, that you, we've been following, man, they don't obey, obey their own teaching. Because they up there teaching for money. Up there teaching for money, teaching for profit. That stuff got to stop. I, well, I stopped listening to him. I mean, I still love him and I'm going to pray for him. But I ain't listening to your message, man. I mean, I can listen to your message. <laughs> but I'm not going to pour into your ministry. I'm sorry. Just so you can live lavishly and not want to help nobody else. Like, oh, well, I, I did this or I did this. No. You ain't do nothing. You took from people. Calling it a blessing. You don't even believe what you preach because you ain't living it. You're supposed to live the word. It's supposed to show off of you. Man, listen. I ain't trying to be up here too long, man. But I, got, I ain't got no music to play today. But I had a few songs in the spirit. So y'all know I'm going to do another very video uh, later on. But I, just, I had to drop this message in y'all, man. Because me uh, and my brother Eddie and uh, Mama Voice, Sister Tasha, Sister Brand, uh uh, spiritual mother Carolyn, my spir spiritual mother Marvel uh, Madison, and uh, they brought some guests in on the prayer line this morning. Y'all, we was on the prayer line from 7 a.m. till just like 10 minutes ago before I got on this video. We've been on the prayer line that long because the prayer line is not geared to just praying and uh, devotionals. It's geared towards everybody speaking out and, and, and saying what they got to say, what the Lord brings you to say. There ain't no ranking on this, okay? There is no ranking. There is no, this person is better than this person or this person started it so they get to do this. No, come as you are. If you need help with something, call in. We, we, we may just be able to help you. There's a lot of us on there. If you want to hear a word, call in. If you don't understand the Bible, call in. We got a bunch of people on here. We live in this, y'all. And we supposed to help one another. In order for that to happen, a change got to come. Like Sam Cooke said, a change going to come. A change going to have to happen. You got to get outside and you got to do something, man. Don't let nobody put fear in you, man. Fear? <laughs> fear? The only thing, like I said earlier, the only thing you should fear is fear of God. The fear of the creator. Fear of not doing what he tells you to do. Not doing what a parent tells you to do. That's the fear. That's called faith. Faith in the Father. And faith without works is dead. What's the works? What you do when you're told to do it. Are you going to get up and do what the Father tell you to do? Or are you just going to stand still and sleep and stay asleep? Because some of y'all out here hollering, oh, get woke, get woke. Some of y'all out here still sleep. There's a lot of people still sleep because they too comfortable. 
Today, 420, everybody talking about getting high. For what? For what? Because you got depression, anxiety issues. Don't you know that that's the state of mind? You don't need that stuff. All you need is the creator. And he will deliver you from whatever it is that you got going on. Don't be distracted. Quit letting the media, the television, tell you something just so you can get a vision of it. That's why it's called television. Because it tells you something, you get a vision, and then you get scared. Because they scared too. Because it's called a spirit. It's a spirit that's connected to you. Y'all know about that. I'm telling you, it's spirits. This is spiritual. This ain't for play play. This is spiritual. Understand, there's spirits around you, surrounded around you. That's why you get confused. That's why you get scared. That's why you uh, be gossiping and doing all that other stuff. That's why you do that, because you're being led by that. You're being controlled, just like the media. You're being controlled. I just thought I'd let y'all know, man, this is not for play play. When you're being controlled, you'll finally understand you're being controlled by the spiritual realm. Stop smoking that stuff. You're being controlled because it talks about it in the word too, about the ancestors, how when they got free in the land and they just started doing whatever they want to do, smoking, praising, giving praise to moon and stars and all these false gods. And then God came down and he took them out because they was too comfortable talking about the land of the free. We in that same daggum time, y'all. 400 years of slavery is up. And look at people out here doing it. Smoking their life away. Drinking their life away. Giving praise to ancestors. Y'all better stop. I'm just telling you, you better stop. You better give praise to the creator. Because the creator is the one that created the ancestors. So why give praise to them? That makes no sense at all. You know why? Because you're a follower. You need to learn to follow the right ones. Follow them. Hey, man, I'm finna get back to this rake, and I just thought I'd drop this message in, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Knowledge The Raven 2468 I ain't asking you for no finances. I'm just asking you to click a button so we can share the truth. So we can share the truth. And let's be real with it. Let's keep it a whole dollar. Let's be, be 100 with it. We need to wake our children up. We need to teach our children a new way, the right way. No more of this wrongdoing. No more being comfortable doing the wrong thing. It's time to get uncomfortable and do the right thing. I ain't trying to preach to y'all, man. I'm finna get back to work, though, because I got this to do, and then I got to go uh, mow a yard next. Hey, man, I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.